You know, given the fact that SEMA is a show full of hot rods, big trucks, and big engines, it was a little bit surprising to come over to the Chevrolet booth today and see a small truck with no engine at all receiving a lot of buzz. Hey everyone, Wayne Grayson, online editor of Equipment World here at SEMA 2019. Behind me is the E10, a Chevrolet concept truck built from a vintage body and packed with a concept electric crate kit that Chevrolet is working on and trying to gauge interest in. The crate kit is composed of two lithium ion battery packs and an electric drive motor. Now those two lithium ion battery packs are actually taken from Chevrolet's electric vehicle, the Bolt. Uh, I've got Shad Balch here with me and to talk about an electric crate engine kit, right? Tell us about you. Yeah, so we're standing in front of a 1962 fully restored, fully reconfigured Chevy pickup truck. So we basically found this truck in Ohio. Yeah. It's all GM components and parts, okay. about 18 weeks. My colleagues restored it and then converted it to run electricity. Wow. Pulled out the gas engine, pulled out the gas tank, all of that stuff, and they put in its place two Bolt EV batteries. Okay. Uh, they're sitting in the bed of the truck back there. All right. And then two electric drive units are up uh, under the hood. Okay. So it's a fully electric, zero emissions hot rod. Now, what are we talking about in terms of horsepower and torque on this? So this truck has 450 horsepower, about a range of about 230, 250 miles. Okay. Uh, because the batteries are separate, uh, you can charge, recharge them separately or at the same time. Okay. So it's, there's a lot of, of interesting ways that we can figure this that, yeah. that make it a practical solution for tuners and hot rodders when they want to do a project truck. Now, as Shad said, under the hood of this E10, rather than a gas engine, you'll find a double stack of electric drive motors. And in the bed of the truck, there are two 400 volt lithium batteries, each delivering 60 kilowatt hours of usable energy to the drive stack. The motor stack is mated to a Supermatic 4L75-E automatic transmission, which delivers torque to the rear axle of the E10. As Shad said, the E-Crate concept kit produces 450 horsepower. However, Chevy did not provide a torque number. They did say, though, that the E10 is capable of a 0 to 60 time of around 5 seconds, with quarter mile times in the high 13 second range. Chevrolet says that if this crate kit ever ships, it would be capable of producing 1,000 horsepower. During the show, one of the many comments that I heard while eavesdropping on some of the builders buzzing around the truck was how much they liked the look of that double stack motor under the hood and how Chevy arranged everything to kind of give it that hot rod engine configuration look and feel. Now, back in the truck bed of this E10, that's where things get a little bit kind of murky because while everything looks nice and neat, Normally in an electric vehicle, those batteries would be integrated into the chassis itself. But given the fact that this is a concept and Chevy wanted the whole kit to be visible on the show floor, they opted to simply drop them in the bed. However, because this is a concept, it still raises some questions as to how easy a conversion using this E-Crate kit would actually be, especially if the vehicle being converted has no truck bed. Now, you might be thinking, with everything we've already seen from Bollinger and Ford announcing an electric F-150 and Tesla supposedly days away from unveiling its highly anticipated electric pickup, this is all Chevy has to show for an electric truck? And it's a valid criticism. In their defense, though, this was a project for SEMA, a show for aftermarket parts and custom builders. A crate engine fits in well there, and Chevy likes to use this show as a way of gathering feedback. Plus, all of the builders I ran into at the Chevy booth checking this thing out were very impressed by it and kind of excited about the possibility of electric hot rod conversions. Yeah, that's that, and it's, it's definitely like an interesting kind of project for Chevy itself, right? To, to, to kind of start in terms of an electrification for, for pickups or for trucks, kind of start with this uh, crate kit. Can you talk a little bit about some of the mindset of wanting to do it specifically this way and kind of gauge some of the reaction at SEMA? Yeah, exactly. So the goal of this program was to show and uh, get feedback on the idea of e-crate mode. Okay. So we're known for our crate engines. Yeah. And okay. people drop this into a variety of their projects. Right, right. So we thought, what if we took a hot rod and instead of putting a gas powered pilot in it, we put electric in it. Okay. So that's what we're showing is the battery collection. Okay. The um, stackable drive units, the stack stackable motors. Yeah. And we want to to see if okay. this is something that we should bring to market. Yeah. How much an appetite there is for it. And, you know, that usually determines what we do next. Yeah, absolutely. That will wrap it up on the E10 concept truck and the E-Crate concept here at the Chevrolet booth at SEMA 2019. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, if you want more videos like this on construction equipment, pickup trucks, and work trucks, be sure to hit the subscribe button below and uh, sign up for notifications so you're getting alerts whenever we drop a new video. 
video. And uh, if you found this video uh, interesting or you liked it, be sure to hit that like button below. We always appreciate it. Again, thank you so much for watching and we will see you next time.